Life is too short, so love the one you got. Cause you might get run over or you might get shot. Life is too short, so love the one you got. Cause you might get run over or you might get shot. I think there is a lot of wisdom in those quotes. Um, I did get run over by a car essentially while riding my bike a few months ago and I had a near-death experience where I thought I was gonna die and it was an extremely peaceful experience and I realized that everything is always perfectly fine and always will be and we'll all float on okay as Modest Mouse says but it's hard to remember that oftentimes and uh, <clears throat> Loving the life you got has been a practice for me for a long time and just being okay with myself the way I am and loving myself the way I am, not trying to hold up to any standard that society places on me. And so I encourage you to love yourself and love others unconditionally, meaning there's no conditions apply you always love yourself no matter what you look like, no matter what mistakes you make. You always love yourself, you always love other people. And it's hard for me personally to constantly live by that. And I have all these mental advisors that are these little voices that judge and criticize myself and others. And I feel like it's a conditioned mind pattern and in order to overcome that conditioned mind pattern, we have to realize that we, our, our true self is beyond the mind. And the mind is just one, one tool that the, the body uses per se. And so in order for us to, to stop fully listening to those voices that say, oh, you're fat, oh, you're skinny, oh, you're ugly, we have to realize that that is not our true self and that we are beyond that because if we're identified with our mind then we're going to constantly be listening to those things judging other people judging ourselves so i feel like it's really important that we realize that we are beyond the mind and if you're if you want an introduction to those ideas i highly recommend eckhart tolle's book a new earth but some people don't like eckhart tolle i also recommend um <clears throat> I really like Eckhart Tolle, but a very basic introduction is called Wherever You Go, There You Are. It's about mindfulness practice. I'll post a link to it in the link box. But pretty much any Buddhist text will teach you that you are not the mind. And I feel like in order for us to love ourselves unconditionally, we have to realize that we are beyond the mind. And we don't have to listen to all those criticisms and things that go off in our mind all the time. And so an example of this in my life is that I used to think to be accepted by my friends in society, I had to be really strong and like bulky almost. And in the last year or so, I probably lost like 15 pounds because I've stopped working out. And I still... I still hear these voices in my head and other people saying like, oh, you're really skinny. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I too skinny? And I'm judging myself and not loving myself unconditionally because I, for some, I'm trying to live up to society's standard of what a, what a 20 year old guy is supposed to look like. And so I'll find myself like purposely eating too much food because I don't want to get too skinny. But that's, that's ridiculous because the body knows to be healthy. I'll talk about that in another video. But anywho, life is too short, so love the one you got. Because you might get run over or you might get shot. If you get run over tomorrow, you're going to be like, why the hell did I spend yesterday judging myself and judging others? So, peace. Have a beautiful day. I love you unconditionally. I love myself unconditionally. Let's all do that. Peace.